Hi, I'm Sam Claflin and I'm on FR Conventions. I vividly remember my audition for the Games. Uh, I was, for myself, overweight and uh, very pale uh, and had very, very unruly hair and stubble. Uh, and I remember reading, only the night before I got sent the sides and uh, the audition sort of details, and it, was, it said quite clearly on the top, looking for Brad Pitt from Thelma and Louise, which I definitely was not. Um, and I remember walking into the audition room, and I think I was the first person they ever auditioned for Finnick. Uh, and I, I was because I was leaving to London the next day or something that, that afternoon. So I went in and met the casting director, but as I was in the waiting room, there was another guy in there who was wearing a string vest, and I was really muscular, beautiful tan skin, long blonde hair, uh, chiseled to, to within an inch of his life, shaved, you know, and I was like, oh God, <laughs> this is, and I remember hearing the casting director's assistant on the phone saying, does he look like Brad Pitt? Then no, he shouldn't be coming. And I was like, oh, I I'm British, uh, everything was wrong. Uh, but nevertheless, I sort of went in and somehow they, they, they must have seen something. But it wasn't for like three or four months later where they, I got the recall. So they obviously wanted to see everyone for that part. Uh, I think they'd forgotten who I was. So they asked me to re come back and get a read um, in London. And uh, I had to put myself on tape. And yeah, uh, I got a phone call a few weeks later saying I got the role. And then my first day on the set, I remember, was a scene that was actually cut from the movie. Um, it was me tying the noose um, in the training center, which is a very, very famous moment in the book. Uh, he's sort of tying a noose and he's sort of showing off that he can tie all these knots. Uh, I think it, when, in the film, they, they, they cut that moment. So I, I was kind of grateful, so I'm sure my nerves showed. Uh, but I, I, remember, I just remember being very, very nervous and very happy and excited and um, terrified and, you know, um, yeah, it was a very, very, very difficult day of filming. Um, it was a, obviously a very, very important scene and sequence, and we'd spent months kind of rehearsing all the fight stuff. Um, and I remember on the day we were just doing it so many times, over and over again. I think it was three days it took us to do that whole sequence. Um, and by the end of which, I, I remember I had to go on an oxygen tank because I was so tired and exhausted and I was sort of feeling really nauseous and <laughs> like dizzy because it was all in this very, very small set and closed set and there was a lot of dust and smoke and water and uh, it was very full on. But I, I was sort of happy, yeah, I was happy with how it turned out. I mean, there's obviously so many other things going on in that moment as well. Uh, and obviously couldn't see Phoenix's head get ripped off like in the book, but it was enough, I think. And I was very, very happy with it. Honestly, it was the whole experience. I think we had like a huge sort of rehearsal period before we started filming. So kind of getting to know her through that. Um, like me and Amelia go back to like 10, before she did Hunger Games, uh, before she did uh, Game of Thrones and I went off and did Pirates, we met at a photo shoot. And so like this was sort of 10 years later, we kind of met again on, the, on that set and um, kind of getting to know one another and just sort of figuring out that actually we're very similar as people. And you know, when you work with people that you know, you class as a friend, it's, it's kind of easy. Um, and so yeah, we, Thea Sharrock, the, the director, was amazing and kind of utilizing that kind of connection and chemistry and, you know, rolling with it. So there was a lot of improvised little, little beats and moments that I think uh, was all very fun. I, well, I want Oswald Mosley to win the war, um, you know, uh, obviously we know that he doesn't win the war. Uh, and in actual fact, during the First World War, um, sorry, Second World War, he was imprisoned because they saw him as such a big threat to society. So, uh, who knows, like anything, anything, you know, because it's, as much as he is a real person, so much of the world is fiction, so there's so many different directions they can go with it. Um, what I I love, I honestly love the kind of, uh, villainous kind of arc that he has and I love that his new lady is sort of involved so much as well so I hope there's just more mischief and more more kind of uh, dark dark darker times ahead
think just meeting the fans who've travelled so far. Like already, I think people have been telling me that they've been, you know, travelled from Belgium, from France, from the Netherlands. Um, I feel so blessed and, and fortunate to be here in my hometown, but kind of welcoming so many people from afar. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's just meeting the fans and connecting with the fans in a way I haven't done for so long because of COVID, because I haven't had anything released for so long. Uh, I haven't been to like a premiere or an event for a long time, so it's nice. It's nice to sort of just, just finally show my face and uh, uh, welcome all those travellers.